Hello, and welcome to Investigative Math. Today, we will be learning about triangular numbers, so let's get to it. For our first example, we are asked for the seventh triangular number. So to answer this, we're obviously going to have to know what a triangular number is. So start off with a single dot. And then from that, put two dots under it, such that it makes a triangle. Then under that, put three more dots, continuing the triangle. And then imagine this just goes on forever, adding four dots for this one, and then five dots to the bottom of the next figure, and so on and so forth. So, to find the first triangular number, this thing about this is like figure one, figure two, figure three, because this has a base of one dot, this one has a base of two dots, this one has a base of three dots. So to find the first triangular number, find the number of dots in figure one. So the first triangular number is just going to be one. The second triangular number, one plus one plus one, or one plus two, if you can do it by bases, is three. When I say by bases, I mean take the rows. The first row has just one, second row has two, one plus two is three. For the third triangular number, that's one plus two plus three, six. So the third triangular number is six. Using this, let's think about what the seventh triangular number could be. So I'm going to draw a triangle with a base of seven dots. And to find the seventh triangular number, we're just going to count the dots. That's one, two, that's six. So the seventh triangular number is just the number of dots in this triangle that has a base of seven dots. So there is one dot in this top row, then two dots in that row, three, four, five. So really we can just do one plus two plus three plus all the way up to seven. Now, most people can do this in their head. Um, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10. Just do that. Or you can use a formula. So the t of n, which basically means plug in n, which is the number of dots in your base, or the nth triangular number. In this case, n would be 7. Plug it into the function t, and the triangular number is n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So the seventh triangular number is found by just plugging 7 into this formula. 7 times 8 divided by 2. 7 times 8 is 56. Divided by 2 is 28. So the seventh triangular number is 28. To recap, first, use this formula. This t of n equals n times n plus 1 divided by 2. n is just the nth triangular number. So in this case, we have 7. Plug 7 into this formula. You're going to become very familiar with this n times n plus 1 divided by 2. 7 times 8 divided by 2 is 28, so your 7th triangular number is 28. So something you may have thought of in the first question is, we can probably use this formula to find the sum of consecutive integers, and that's what our second example is. We have 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to plus 15. So you can think about this as the number of dots in a triangle with a base of 15 dots. Because, think about it, if we had 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 to 7, that's going to be basically what we did for the 7th triangular number. So to find this sum, we can just plug it into this formula. So 15 times 16 divided by 2. 15 times 16 is 240. Divided by 2 is 120. To recap, we can do this because... Think about the seventh triangular number. How did we do that? We drew the we drew the triangle where the base had seven dots. And to add all the dots, the first row had one dot, the second row had two dots, third row had three dots, fourth row had four dots, and all the way down. So we have one plus two plus three plus four all the way to plus seven. And that's basically the same thing we did in our second example. So plug in 15 to our formula, 15 times 16 divided by 2 is 120. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to 15 is 120. And that does it for triangular numbers part 1. Now that you have an idea of how to do this kind of question, I've provided a problem set in the description of this video for you to try a couple for yourself. If you need me to clarify anything for you, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, leave a like, and if you really loved it, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you later.